In this video, we're going to adjust and then replace the Rainbird HE van nozzle. That is the high efficiency variable arc nozzle. It's kind of the upgrade from the old line of the variable arc nozzles. So we're always going to talk about two different forms of adjustment on any spray nozzle or sprinkler head. The, the first one being the arc and the second one being the radius or how far the spray pattern is going. With this nozzle, the left limit is fixed. It even has a little notch on the top there to show you for rough adjustment. And then we're going to adjust the right limit with the little collar that's underneath here. And then we will adjust the radius with the little screw that's on top here. So what we're gonna do is grab the shaft here. Remember, this is probably gonna be ground level. So we're gonna be grabbing the shaft here to adjust our left limit. And most of these spray heads have some kind of ratchet action to it. So we're going to put our adjustment there and then we're going to fine tune our right side. You'll notice that the little collar on this one is a little harder to turn than on the previous line of nozzles, the van nozzles. So that's how we set our left and right limits. And then to set our radius, we are going to turn this screw all the way down you can even shut it all the way off or open it all the way up i don't recommend you reducing the radius on these any more than maybe 20 percent or 25 percent anything more than that if you don't have full pressure if you take it down to try to get 50 percent or 40 percent out of this by turning this no uh, nozzle screw halfway down there's a danger that when it comes on next time it doesn't completely come on fully so I've seen that before so I would only try to take it down about 20 or 25 percent at most and I just want to mention also that with this collar here you can turn this all the way off or open this up all the way to 360 so it's a true variable arc and you get zero to 360. So let's talk about changing the nozzle if you've got a clogged one and you want to put a fresh new nozzle on it what I would do is I would get a Rainbird spray head tool. If you do your own work or you do this for a living, I would recommend you keep several of these on the truck so that you can flush these nozzles out. It's not good enough just to replace the nozzle. We want to flush any dirt or debris that's down in the head out. So we're going to come and slip this on here, go back to our timer or use the app, whatever we've got to shut the zone off. Come and remove all the nozzles that we are flushing out. We're going to take and toss the old nozzle and filter we go back to the timer turn our zone on just enough for maybe 10 or 15 seconds just to flush out any debris that's down in there shut it back off grab us a fresh nozzle and filter come on to come back here put them on okay now we can remove our clamp and look at the little notch on our head to get a, a rough adjustment of what we want there. And you can also rough adjust this. You know, you can see there's a little flat place on there and you can feel it with your finger. It's there to do that and do a rough adjust on there. So let's go back to the timer, turn it on. And now we're going to do our fine tune adjustment on it. Put our limits exactly where we want on the left side by using the ratchet action and on the right side by using our collar here. And then if we need to shorten this up, we can use our Rainbird tool and then run this nozzle down in there. And we're done. 